Hi and welcome to this demonstration. In this video what I'm going to show you is how you create your first first uh, SharePoint uh, sites and site collections and uh, this this video is part of a uh, series of videos that I'm making for uh, the Understanding SharePoint Journal issue number five which is titled Beginning SharePoint Development so so if you're looking to, to start your SharePoint development career you you might want to check that out you can sign up for the mailing list to, to get notified when that that issue is ready and uh, release uh, ready for the releasing so in this video, what I'm uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through setting up your first uh, first web application and your first SharePoint site. And the concepts of, of this uh, this SharePoint sites and site collections and web application it, it it can be confusing at first, but it makes sense once you once you get into it. And in one of the later chapters in the issue, I'm going to to explain to you exactly how how this architecture actually works. So what I have here is I've, I've gone into the central administration and I've gone to the application management page here. And, and then I'm going to, to create my first web application here. So uh, when we when we create a new web application, this, this will basically create a new IIS website for us and, and, and enable or extend that that uh, website so that we can use it for, uh, for SharePoint. So the first thing we want to decide is where we want our, uh, which port we want to use for our website. And if you want, you can provide a, a nice description. You'll, you'll just see this as an administrator, so it's, uh, it's nothing that the users will, users will see at all. The remaining uh, settings here, you, you don't need to configure them at all. Uh, the, there's just one thing you actually have to do here, and that's setting the, the application pool and the, the account that the application pool should run as. Uh, and if you remember from one of the earlier videos, we, we created actually three different users. I'll show you those now in the computer management here. We created three different users that we're going to be using to set up our SharePoint environment. We have an SP user, uh, which we'll use now, and this uh, will be this account will be responsible for, for running the the various application pools that we're creating or the various applic web applications. We have the administrator account, which we'll be using to run the, the central administration application pool and also the services for, uh, for our SharePoint installation. We have the content access account, the, the SP search uh, user, which we'll set up uh, in a later video. Uh, so this time we're using the SP user, so we'll just enter the username here, which will be SP user and that uh, really hard to guess password. Uh, and then we also need to decide whether or not we want to restart IIS automatically. Uh, in the production environment, of course, you'll, you'll always leave it manually and, and sort of restart IIS uh, outside the, the peak, peak business hours. So uh, as you can see at the bottom here, we, we need to select our search server, but there's no search server available yet because we haven't configured that. And I'll, I'll show you that in a later video. So now we'll just hit, uh, hit OK, and uh, then the, the SharePoint will create a new web application for us. And, and that's when we will start to, to add uh, the sites and site collections to, to that, uh, that web application. Now that the, the application has been created, we can go to create our first site collection. Uh, and the site collection, and as I again, said again, this the, the concept and the architecture here might be a bit confusing uh, in the beginning, but if you're considering the site collection as just that it's a collection of sites, uh, what you're doing here is you're basically just defining the first site collection within a web application. Uh, and for that site collection, you need to, to have a root site. That's basically what we're, we're setting up here. So we'll just call this USPJ issue number five lab, like that. Uh, and then we'll uh, select the template. Uh, and the template the templates are basically site definitions that are available, or site definitions or site templates. And we'll also cover that in, in a later chapter, the difference between those. Uh, for this uh, demonstration, however, we're using the team site, which is what most people recognize uh, at first glance as SharePoint. And we also need to define the site collection administrator. And this, uh, this administrator will basically be responsible for, for creating new sites and, and have the overall administrative um, responsibility. You can, you can set up uh, administrators or site owners for, for individual sites later. So this is basically who is, who is allowed to, to create the root site and, and have access to everything within that, uh, that site collection. Now we'll just hit, uh, hit OK now. Uh, and uh, what goes on from this point is just working with the database. Uh, so we, we don't actually create anything new inside the IIS at all. Once this creation process has uh, completed, we'll basically get a link to our new site uh, like this. And we'll just hit that one. And you'll see now that we, when, uh, when this application pool actually starts up, we can see our, our first SharePoint site uh, 
has been installed. As I said, I'm running this on a really limited amount of RAM here, so uh, that's why it takes a bit of time. So now you can see our, our site has been set up, and we basically we've configured everything that we we need to we have to configure. So now we can, uh, can sort of get started on on uh, doing our uh, development work and then uh, uh, setting setting up everything else. So uh, that's basically what I wanted to show you in in this video now.